unveiling the most amazing, the most exciting? Well, maybe not. In this video, I will simply show how to install a self-tapping sheet metal screw properly and some other bits of related info. Now, if you've clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're interested in learning just how to do it. Or if you're looking to poke fun at this simple instructional video, oh well. Now, we'll be using a simple, typical Phillips head screw like this. See the little drill bit on the tip? Very cool, huh? That actually drills the right size hole so that the screw can cut threads into the sheet metal just right. What a deal! A free drill bit with every screw. First thing, make sure you're using the proper bit. Usually number two Phillips. If you use a number one Phillips bit, it's going to wobble so bad that you won't be able to keep it in the saddle. If you use a number three Phillips bit, it won't even begin to fit the screw. Secondly, it's very important to be sure your number two Phillips bit doesn't have a bunch of filings stuck to it. These holders are magnetic and can capture any kind of metal flakes or filings. Usually, you can just wipe them off with your fingers. Not perfect, but good enough to get the screw to seat on it. A good fit. The magnet should hold it on pretty securely. You can use the Phillips bit without the magnetic bit holder, but these help hold the screw, so they make it much, much easier. Be sure your drill is in forward, not reverse. I know, duh. Well, we've all made the obvious mistakes. Now, just press the screw firmly at the desired location and gently pull the trigger. You don't want to start full speed unless you become a bona fide expert at this. You want to make sure it doesn't spin and walk off the desired location. If it tries to, put it back on the desired spot, press a little harder, and start slowly to let it try to start drilling the hole in the right place. Or sometimes, it's just a bad screw and you just need another one. As it begins to drill, cut the hole, you can go ahead and give it more gas and speed up. Typically, you'll be fastening two pieces together with this screw. So it's important to have the two pieces clamped or held together pretty tightly. Otherwise, when the screw gets through the first layer, it will try to push the second layer away as it threads into the first layer. So clamp them together and it will have to drill through the second piece before it reaches the threads in the first layer and pushes them apart. Now screw it up tight, but not too tight. Not so tight that it strips out the threads and just spins freely. Oops, too tight. When that happens, you've lost your optimum strength. You need to learn to stop when it hits tight. You'll get used to the sound and the feel. If you're using a cordless drill, they usually have a clutch you can set to prevent stripping. Just make sure you set it high enough to screw it tight. Sometimes after it drills the hole and starts to thread, you may want to begin feathering the trigger to bring it to the tight fit. Now, that's a perfectly installed self-tapping sheet metal screw. Pretty exciting, huh? Now we'll cover different types of screws in another video, but I think that's enough excitement for one video, don't you?